Wisconsin climate is changing. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, most of the state has warmed about two degrees in the past century. Local professors, artists, and students are looking to bring attention to the growing issues. Associate chemistry professor at the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire, James Bolter, says he's surprised by the havoc climate change already has on the environment. Bolter has given climate change talks for 20 years and thought climate change would only be an issue for future generations. In the Midwest, the primary change that we're seeing is, is definitely precipitation intensity and flooding, you know, the flooding that accompanies it. Uh, you know, even this winter with the, you know, the extraordinary snowfalls that we saw, uh, a warmer atmosphere simply holds more water vapor. Bolter started the Citizens Climate Lobby chapter in Eau Claire in 2012. The group focuses on climate change issues and how to address them in government, sparking a local movement for change. The group looks at things like the flood warnings in Eau Claire and how they are going to lead to increased runoff into the lakes and rivers. At CCL we have conservatives and we have Democrats and we have progressives and we have, you know, libertarians. We have the whole gamut. Director of the Student Office of Sustainability at the University of Wisconsin Eau Claire, Austin Northhagen, says he became involved in the local movement when he started to see climate change's effects. Back, back in 2016, 2017, I started learning about climate change and I got really concerned, really worried, very fearful for my future because I didn't know what kind of world I was going to live in for the rest of my life. Northhagen says implementing things like LED lighting is one of the most environmentally responsible lighting technologies that buildings can use. While in office, he has installed LED lighting in multiple buildings on the UW Eau Claire campus, reducing their carbon footprint. I thought, you know, you know there has to be something that I can do. Um, and so I got involved in my local student government. And then I found out about the Student Office of Sustainability, which is... In the community, one local Eau Claire artist is trying to spread the message of climate change in a creative way. Holly Jacobson uses acrylics and mixed media on canvas to create works of environmental change. Jacobson has artwork in the Oxbow Hotel and 200 Main Gallery. She says books of before and after photos of nature inspired her to create artwork of her own. Photos of Glacier Recession inspired her most recent project. I think, I think it's becoming such a broad topic or, you know, I think maybe even because of our connect connectivity throughout the world, we're seeing the big changes and the, the de destructive nature of what we do to the earth. The city as a whole is looking to make changes too. By unanimous vote at the end of March, Eau Claire City Council passed a resolution setting a timeline to achieve a net zero carbon footprint by 2050 at both municipal and citywide levels and to achieve 100% renewable energy for both the municipal government and citywide by 2050. For Inside Eau Claire, I'm Casey Ryan.